hi guys welcome back to our channel it's vicky here for vicky and kim i don't have much time but we're doing a makeup tutorial so i'll just go ahead and get right into the video started off with drawing my brows off calm because it was a bit too long so i'm just gonna go ahead and clean off my brows using fun ellie girl pro concealer and fun doing it at the down part of my brows first just to give it a better finish and i'm going to blend that concealer out so it doesn't look too light there so i ended up mis mixing espresso and fun to clean up the top of my brows because i didn't want the top to be too light you know and i'm blending that out i'm just brushing my brows so I went ahead to prime my lid. Everything will be in the description box. So down to my eyeshadow. I'm using Beauty Glaze Gorgeous Me Palette. And this shade is gonna be my first transition. With this blending brush from BH Cosmetics. It's going to blend that out seamlessly because you don't want harsh lines. Using this darker shade, I'm going to just add it into my crease. I don't know. And using my Morphe 35F, I'm using this amazing gold color to just put it on my leads. No cut crease, no nothing, just that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes with liquid liner no wings I went ahead to use a mascara I'll leave it down below the name now to my primer I went ahead to prime my face cause I have oily skin I needed to use this then I topped it off with Pond's Primer because if you really have oily skin then you need to be using Pond's in your routine. Um, I'm using my Reba Desco. I just sprayed it on my brush to blend out my foundation. Foundation is Revlon Color Stay Form Foundation. I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. For me, I have no particular pattern. I do it however way. So if you have a pattern of blending out your foundation, do that. But don't just put so much. Went ahead to highlight using LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cool Tan. Basically, all my concealers are from Ellie Girl because I don't know. I have trust issues, so I can't trust any other concealer. But I mean, I'm yet to. So I went ahead to highlight the under of my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. I'm just going to go ahead to use a beauty blender first to press that into my skin. And did some finishing touches with this blending brush from BH also. Just going to blend that out. When blending, you want to take as much time as you have. Like, that's one thing that shouldn't be rushed in blending. I had to switch to a beauty blender for my forehead because I didn't like the blending there and then I needed it for my nose too so <laughs> guys 
I had to add that concealer because I really didn't like my forehead blending there. Um, I'm just gonna set my highlighted areas with Coty S Pond. I usually use Sacha, but Sacha gives me a yellow finish, so I don't really like it. So I'm going to place that on places that I previously highlighted with concealer and you don't want to put too much so using this powder palette from flawless ivy cosmetics it's a nigerian brand guys i'm going to take a dark shade there to contour my cheekbones and then my temple So using this buffer brush from Focalio, I went ahead to buff out my highlighted areas, powder there. I mixed, I mixed two shades to use as my face powder just to neutralize the makeup. Using another dark shade, dark, lighter than the one I use for my normal contour, I'm going to use it to contour my nose, just to make it a little bit slimmer. And then I'm just clearing off any harsh lines. And then I'm going to just bat my face in my river desk. Using the lashes, yeah. Fix my lash off cam, guys. So I'm going to use a burgundy kind of shade just to do the under of my eyes because I love it. I'm using NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I'm going to do the inner part of my eyes as a waterline because I don't know, it gives it a whole different edge. And then finishing off with Revolution Spray. Damn. I'm going to put mascara on my lower lash. I just did that. And using a gold color for my Julia Street, I'm just going to put it at the inner corner of my eye. Yeah. Then, oh my gosh, this is my best part. And using this brush from Focal Lure 2. I'm going to do my highlighter. My highlighter just had to be revolution. What? It's amazing, guys. So I'm just going to blend that on my cheeks. I had to switch to a smaller brush for my nose because I love it. And I'm just going to apply on my forehead, my chin, because those are the places I usually highlight. And using Colourpop Limbo plus a random peach color, I'm going to do ombre using my brown first at my outer lip and then the peach at the inner part. Just going to blend that out well. Yes. Okay guys, this is the finished look. Hope you loved it. Remember to subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you want to see. Okay. And then, wow. <laughs> we'll see you in our next video.